Okay, so Sig Sauer is a pistol company. Correct. And you are making optics. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah, it's I great. I love it. Um, and so tell me about a tactical site that you have. Yeah, so I mean, we've been, we're a 250 year old company. Mm -hmm. And like you said, so, you know, we build well over a half a million pistols per year up in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you look at, you look at rifles, uh, when you go rifle hunting, you have an optic on it. Right. You know, you go turkey hunting like we are here in South Dakota, you got a red dot sight on your shotgun, you know, but most, most people, when they pick up a pistol, they're still using iron sights. Yep. Doesn't make a lot of sense. No. <laughs> Especially when you get to be my age and, you know, your eyes are kind of bugging out a little bit and, you know, you... Well, even too, as a new shooter, I, yeah. I was shooting at the range this year and that red dot sight, there's nothing like it. It's, it's just such a quick target acquisition yep. and it's, it's so easy to start shooting too. So, right. I mean, all across the board, it's just a great option to have. Yeah. And they, they've been out for a while. I mean, they've been out for a while. The challenge with these little guys is to make them withstand the recoil of a pistol. Right. right? And mm -hmm. so as a pistol manufacturer, we know something about recoil traces and what it looks like on a pistol. We have a lot of impact testing equipment up there mm -hmm. in New Hampshire. So this was designed from the ground up uh, to live on the recoil of a pistol, mm -hmm. right? And so it's a magnesium body. It's incredibly light, but it's incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. All the electronics inside are, are potted. What does that mean? It means the circuit board, all those components are floated in a, in a sea of epoxy and then it's hardened. Okay. So on every recoil, those components can't go anywhere. They're yeah. basically locked and glued in place. Super durable. Super durable. We have a, a two-piece design. A lot of people, when they hear something about optics, they want a one-piece design. It sounds more rugged and more right. robust. The reality is when it's a one-piece design, um, the lens gets slid into place and it, it's just glue holding it in. Right? Not pressure. Not pressure. Okay. And so with a two-piece hooded design, we have a 360 degree channel and it's mechanically locked and glued in place. So the lens, once it's once it's collimated at the factory mm -hmm. and once it's set in place, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Right? So I mean, just every little thing was thought of. Uh, there's independent illumination control, so you can control the brightness uh, to the setting you want. When you mm -hmm. shut it down, it remembers the setting it was on, so you oh, don't wow. have to find it again. Yeah. If you forgot to shut it down, uh, it's got a feature called MOTAC, a uh, fancy acronym for motion activated illumination. Okay. <laughs> uh, and when you set it down, it times out after a couple of oh, minutes wow. and says, uh, somebody forgot to shut me off. Okay. Right? So it shuts mm -hmm. down. And then as soon as it senses vibration and you pick it up, it wakes up to the last setting. Okay. Right? One of the coolest things is a firearm manufacturer. This is our new P320 uh, polymer frame pistol, really hot new gun that launched last year. Um, we've machined the slide. Mm -hmm. Right, so it doesn't seem like a lot, but by dropping that sight down about an eighth of an inch, yeah. uh, we've got a slot in the back of the Romeo 1, and you can co-witness your iron nice. sights through the glass. Yeah. So if you ever have problems with a battery or you want to use your iron sights, you can use yeah. them right through the sight window. Well, that's awesome. That's going to be on six of our most popular guns, the, mm -hmm. the P220, P226, uh, P227, P229, uh, and uh, the P320 and a 1911. Okay. And so it's... Uh, yeah, it's a fantastic product. It, it's lightweight, and once you've used it, like you said, I mean, yeah. it's just, it's so much more intuitive to pick it up and just put that red red dot on target. Right, yeah. You know, so.